This cute and cozy color is easy to draft and not complicated to sew, but takes a bit of patience. This color is a blend of a standard turtleneck, which is just a cylinder, and a cone-shaped one. Cones are hard to pull over the head, that's why I always add fasteners to them. Turtlenecks are either floppy and not warm enough, in my opinion, or are tight, which can be easily uncomfortable. The overlapped color is a cross between the two. It is narrower at the top, so more like a cone. It's easier to get into because it's not closed, and we avoid the hassle of adding a fastener altogether. And we get a cute overlap. So I created Random rectangle here. I'll switch units to centimeters, and we uh, we take our first measurements, the neckline length. It would be 62 in my case. Divide by two because it's half. Enter, and then we need to add some space for overlap our color <coughs> in front. And I use 3 cm because that's what was used in the original tutorial I followed. So that's done. And the height, it's the height of uh, our finished height. It can be 8 or 10 cm or 6 for small children. So 8. And then I'll make it bigger. So it's our quarter of our color plus overlap and we want to create some beautiful curve here. And it it can be can be like this can start here. Uh, not sure if <laughs> what would what happen if you saw it like this, but <laughs> but you get the idea that that it can be dif different. Uh, there are options, what uh, <laughs> probably like, not like that, uh, but uh, the tutorial. I have watched and followed, and I made a few colors like that. Put this start of a curve about a one quarter. You can do this exactly if you want to. You can enough to duplicate this rectangle, and where we have width divided by four. And this is our one quarter point if you want to be very precise. So why not? Let's be. Don't need fill. And we take a node tool and curve. I'll delete this. Oh no. This one. And curve it to your liking, can curve it, stay within the main rectangle, and probably that's a bit too thick stro a stroke. But it can, I like them to be fa fairly curved, like this. And then we, we need to cut off this part, it should, should be easy with division, plus division, you can see it's now two of them, and we discard this one. This is our quarter, and we'll want to make a hole. We can do this simply by duplicating and horizontal uh, mirroring. Then I control K for combining these two and again duplicate, mirror vertically and join 
Snapping is on, so it does most of the work for me. And that's the finished color. And we need to do two more things. Firstly, add seam allowance. It's easy. Make a copy, change color, send it to the bottom. And pass outset. Mine already set to 6 millimeters, so it's ready to go. And the second thing is we want to notch part, uh, the point where we, want, we will overlap our color. And if you remember, it's 3 centimeters. So, centimeters, 3. Make it longer and a different color. And we'll just snap it to the start of the seam allowance. Like so. And duplicate and do this here. To be more precise, if we remove stroke from the rectangle. Time snapping got stubborn. So, this is where our notches will be. I can discard this rectangles now and add some path. Just to serve as a notches. And this one I want to have a thicker stroke. I want to actually have it because it was filled before. So that's what you can actually project and it will be fine. But I usually add to all my designs where I heavily modify things or start with, with nothing. This 40 by 10 centimeters is my standard measuring rectangle. I add to, to designs to now check my scale and group. You can even put it on top of the color to save space. And that's what you will project and then you will fold the color along the long side, matching the notches and then matches, match it together and th <laughs> that's where, where I recommend basting by hand carefully because you want to those the curves to match and then you'll have to match this cur uh, double curve to the straight line of the neckline and fabric won't won't won't, <laughs> won't like it but we'll have to persuade it to get our finished results thank you